Today, I thought I'd play with the doublet. It's like the last beautiful weekend that we're gonna have in Wisconsin this year. It is 74 degrees Fahrenheit out, light breeze, and sunny and beautiful. I mean, just look at this behind me. Some fantastic stuff. I've been outside all weekend, and I've been playing with this doublet. You guys have seen these LDG Balans before. I wanted to determine whether or not it made any difference if I put a one-to-one, -one, a four-to-one, a nine-to-one, those are the three that I have, to help bring that doublet into a little bit better of a match for the tuner to bring it into a little bit better match for the radio. So I started playing around on WSJTX and doing FT8. I like the way it maps. I like the repeatability of the process. And I like the fact that you guys could repeat the process too with relatively the same results. Let's take a look at what these results are. The radio of choice today is the ICOM 7100 and I'm running the AT180 tuner. And I'm out in my travel trailer just hanging out and playing radio. Here are the different results for the different bands. So down the left hand side we have the band in question and then we have which ballon we were using and we have what the results were for the tune. So where it says RFI, if I tried to tune from WSJTX, it would actually have too much RFI and WSJTX would lose contact with the radio. I'd have to power off and reset everything. This was, this was a two barely, it was on the left side of the two. And then where it says one dot, 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 as an example, uh, if you look at the scale on the 7100, it was actually one with three dots after it. And then this one here was a three with no tuner and the tuner didn't help any. This was a two with no tuner and the tuner didn't help any. And then this was a one dot 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 with no tuner and the tuner didn't help any. So it was, it was pretty interesting to see the differences. It looks like uh, one to one is the way to go with this thing. I was able to get the most bands off of the one to one without a tuner. Here is what the WSJTX contact map looks like. And you can see I was playing around on some of the higher bands and making some contacts. And it's been a lot of fun. I hope that gets your ham radio juices flowing. If you want to see how I built this doublet antenna, there's a video right over here showing the whole process. This is a hundred meter doublet, so 50 meters on each side. Otherwise, thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.